Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to discuss few numericals based on the SAT examination. So let us begin with our very first sum. So our first question says John walks from A to B in 10 minutes. Okay, so we have two points here is A and the other one is B and the distance between both of them, the time taken by John between both of them is 10 minutes. Here is 10 minutes. If his speed is 30 meters per minute, here is A, here is B, his speed is 30 meters per minute. How many feet are there between A and B? Okay, so here we have been given the conversion. 1 feet is equal to 0 0.3048 meters. So, first we need to find the amount of meter, then we can convert it into feet. So, here we have been given the speed of John and we have also been given the time. So, we need the distance. So, as you know, the formula, the general formula is equal to speed is equal to distance divided by time. But here we need the value to distance. So, distance will be equal to speed into time. So, here speed we have been given is 30 meters per minute and the time is 10 minutes. So, this gives us total 300 meters. So, this is the total distance 300 meters. Now, we have 0 0.3048 meters equal to 1 feet. So, let me write this here. 0 0.3048 meter is equal to 1 feet. We need 300 meters. So, 1 meter will be equal to 1 by 0 0.3048 feet. Therefore, 300 meter will be equal to 300 divided by 0 0.3048 which will be equal to the approximate value this is not exactly equal the approximate value to this will be 984 feet i have already calculated this you can also calculate the value and recheck out your answer the answer will be 984 feet remember if we by chance forget the conversion this conversion then our answer we will leave the answer to 300 meter but this is not the correct answer. We need the answer in how many feet are there between A and B. So, we need this answer. So, you need to uh, check the question very properly. What do we need and how can we find that? So, now let's move on to our next question. That is question number 2. So, question 2 says, Joe correctly solved the 79% of the solutions and had a score of 79 on the first math test. So, here we are talking about a boy joy and he scored a uh, marks 79 on his first math test now in the second test he could solve five by fourth of what he had solved on the first test okay so this time there is an increment in his marks that is he scored five by fourth times of 79 percent of question paper which means that he gets a greater marks in second exam now in the third and final test he did well but he could not learn his grade. Okay, so in the third test, that is the last test, he scored a well marks. He scored a pretty good marks. He scored a well, very uh, means he did well, but he did not know his grade. That is, he does not know his marks. Now, however, he had an A for the quarter, an A grade, a grade A. It says that the average of three exams will give up a 90 or between 90 to 100. The average of three exams that is first, second and third, the average marks of the three exams will be between 90 to 100. Now, which of the following is the range of his grade for the third test? Now, we need to check which of these ranges is the perfect definition for the third test's marks. Now, grades are approximated to the nearest integer for each exam. So, this is a very important statement because this can change our answer this statement can change our answer that is grades are approximated to the nearest integer for each exam so for each exam we need to take the nearest approximated integer now all tests have a maximum score of 100 points and all questions in the test affect the final test grade equally so each of the exam out of these three exams each exam has a score total 100 marks and each contribute same number of same amount of marks for example, 64% correct answer will result a score of 64. Yeah. So let's begin. Here we have first exam. First exam marks we have been given is 79. Second exam, we he we have been said that he scored five by fourth times of 
his previous exams marks which is 79 so once we solve this we will get a value that is 98.75 but as i said we have a very important statement here so this is the statement grades are approximated to the nearest integer for each exam so we need to approximate to the nearest integer so the nearest integer to this will be 99 so he scored 99 in second exam in first exam he scored 79 now we need to find the range of his third exam marks so let the third exam marks be equal to x so the average we can find all these three average which will be 79 plus 99 plus x divided by 3 so you can see that he had scored a a grade he has scored a grade which is the range is from 90 to 100 so we have the upper limit to be 100 and lower limit to be 90 so the average the average of this will be equal greater than or equal to 90 we have been said here that it is the average you can see here average of three exams is 90 or above up to 100 so here we have equal to or greater than 90 so let's solve this we will have 79 plus 99 plus x greater than equal to 270 now solving this we will get a value of x here we have 178 plus x greater than equal to 270 so this will be x greater than equal to 92 so we don't need the upper limit because we have upper limit 100 and we have found that x has a value equal to 92 or greater than 92 so this can also be written as x greater than 91 because we have x can have a value 92 x can be equal to 92 and x can be greater than 92 so these two combined can be said as x is greater than 91 so you can see here we have two options more than 91 more than 92 so our answer will be option number b because if we take option c which is more than 92 this says that x is greater than 92 but this will not include x is equal to 92 so this is not included in option c so we will not take option c in option b we have x greater than 91 which represents x is greater than equal to 92 so we will take option b and not option number c so our correct answer to this question will be option number b and we can have face one more problem in this question that is the tricky part of this question in this these two these statement here we have grades are approximated to the nearest integer for example if we do not approximate the value we will get a different value let's check here if we not approximate this will be 98.75 our second exam marks will be 98.75 so the approximations we will take is 79 plus 78 point no sorry that was 98 here we will have 98.75 plus x divided by 3 greater than equal to 90 so 79 plus 98.75 plus x greater than equal to 270 so solving this we will get a value of x which will be greater than equal to 92.25 so this is now x greater than equal to 92.25 so you can see more than or equal to 92.25 we have a we have a option which we got in our answer so if we do not pay attention to this to this line that grades are approximated to the nearest integer and we proceed with our original value then we will get a wrong answer which is option d so we need to take care of each and every statement given in the question so this implies that our answer is answer to this question will be option number b so i will like to end this video here you will find few more numericals based on this sat examination in our further videos